Schools within the Grossmont Union High School District will reopen for in-person learning today for the first time since the pandemic began and extra precautions are being taken. News 8's Evan Narani joining us live with the details on this. Evan. Yeah, good morning, Eric and Stella. That's right. Today marks day one of a new school year for a lot of those students of Grossman Union High School District. And with it, many, many changes on the way to that in-person instruction. Uh, classes limited to about 20% capacity. That's the school's capacity for each day. And uh, we were able to talk with the superintendent and some students as they entered for the first time. Evan. With masks on, temperature checks, and social distancing measures in place, students at Grossmont Union High School District were back for day one of in-person instruction. It took a lot of work to figure out how to break them into groups so we could do the hybrid model. So, you know, kudos to anyone who can figure out ways to get especially secondary uh, students on campus because it is not easy at all. The strategy here in Santee, bring 20% or one-fifth of the student body to school one day each week with the remaining days staying virtual. My day is Tuesday and then the other four days are online. Superintendent Teresa Kemper says when parents were asked about if they wanted their students to return in person, 68% said yes. Students seem to have a preference as well. I mean, probably in person because then you get to see all your friends and you can get out every day and do stuff. Let me tell you, they are so excited for that one day to get to see other teenagers, to see their friends, to be on campus, to hear the bells ring. They are super excited and to see their teachers. You will need to wear your mask the whole time you're here. With only 20% of the student body on campus, the question still remains as to how long it will take for a larger percentage of students to be back on campus. Kemper says there are no markings on the calendar quite yet, but they're keeping an eye on the county coronavirus numbers in the meantime. It's the beginning, I think, of getting back to normalcy, which is very important for all of our high schoolers, all students in general. And it was noted that as we see that county case rate decline, hopefully we'll also see the number of students attending each day increasing. So we're starting at a baseline of 20% of students each day going into class. That means one fifth of the student body. As we see case rates decline, we'll likely see that number slowly increase. Now, if any parents are against their kids going in person for in person instruction, they can keep their form of learning entirely virtual. It is left up to those parents as to if they're comfortable with their students headed into class. But again, that superintendent said 68% of students and 68% of parents in a survey did say they were in favor of those students returning in person.